So my name is Thomas with TMWYT, back again in the home garage. We've got the Golf Arts in front and center behind me here. So spicy under the lights. Guys, I am so excited. I have been waiting for this mod for over a year. I ordered it back in November of 2020 and now in October of 2021, almost a year. I've finally gotten what I've been waiting for for so long for the Mark VI Golf R. It has something to do with thick with three C's. And it is this massive box right over here. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into this box from Russia. All right guys, this box is huge. It's got Russian tape all over it. And you guys probably already know from the title, I don't know how I'm trying to keep this sacred. This is the new wide body kit for the Mark 6 Golf R. And I'm pretty sure I know there's kits like this for the GTI that have been shipped already, but mine might be the first one in the United States. And it is a ginormous box. I mean, this box is on its last leg. I am excited. Here we have the amazing Russian packaging. You know, all the body kit pieces just kind of tossed in. In here, let's uh, make sure nothing's damaged. Let's get all the pieces out and unwrap them. Today, I'll kind of mock it up on the car, kind of show you guys what it looks like. The fender flares are going goodbye, and we will see what we need to do to the wheels to make them fit with this kit. I hope not a lot, but let's just dive into these body kit pieces. I believe these are the side skirts. So we have a set of side skirts over here. I'll set these off to the side. This looks like it's a. <laughs> I don't even know. Let's get the saran wrap off, check out how it looks. So this is by a company called Jumdu, and I've only seen renders of this kit. It hasn't been mounted to a car yet, and I think I'm gonna be the first one in the US or in the world. Even if it's not wrapped, I'm gonna get it on there. You know how we do things. We change the wrap up uh, kind of every year. So we'll work on the car, get it all ready, see what kind of body work this kit is gonna need. Oh, okay. It's gonna need, um, gonna need some body work for sure, yeah. Take a look at that. You can kind of see like uh, it's gonna need some some finessing, but uh, that's piece number one. Cool. I think these are the front bumper pieces. And it's made out of ABS plastic, uh, interestingly enough. Okay, there's some sort of mounting system back here. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I think a lot of this kit is gonna be uh, uh, it's gonna take some 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 brain work to get it to fit on there how I want. We've got this kind of giant piece with the gas door cut out right there. This looks good. Yeah, so everything's made out of ABS plastic, and it looks like on these rear pieces they put in this nice little frame here to help you mount it, which will be sick. So that'll help a lot. All right, I'll get everything unboxed and laid out, and I'll show you guys everything kind of laid out. All right, guys, we got the kit all laid out here down in the parts dungeon of my basement. <laughs> but we have the full kit laid out here, all unboxed. We have the two-piece front fender. So this piece is obviously going to go over the front fender. And this piece is going to wrap up around the front bumper side skirts as well. Here's those all unwrapped and unboxed. And you can kind of see the unique design back here and how they differ from the OEM skirts two piece rear fenders so this piece will go over the door and that piece obviously over the rear fender over the wheel and this side does have the gas door cut out right there and the door pieces have cutouts for the door handles and then you can see the other side here as well so here's the full kit all laid out let's head up into the garage and get this mocked up on the car right now i want to mock it up in this video and see how it looks see if the wheels are going to fit and then over the course of probably the next two months, we're gonna paint, install, and get the kit all finished up on the Mark VI Golf R here. Um, but today we're just gonna mock it up, see how it looks, see if we need to change anything like the wheel specs. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is pop off all four of the fender flares and let's mock up this kit.
we got the kit fully removed from the car or the old one, the fender flares, and she dirty underneath, but she's held up great. And this is probably all gonna be cut. The fronts might stay the same, but the rears are definitely gonna need to be cut more uh, for better fitment. And I'll probably end up trimming the fronts as well, just to get rid of all the extra holes because the holes are probably gonna be a little bit higher. So now we have the rear of the new kit back here, both pieces. We're gonna start by mocking it up back here with some masking tape. And then we have the fronts over there, which we'll start doing in a second. Okay, so normally if you're fitting a wide body kit up to a painted car and you're trying to keep the paint nice, you're gonna wanna lay masking tape all across it so it doesn't scratch your paint while you're positioning the panels. But since this is a wrap that I'm gonna change when I install the kit, I don't really care about scratching it up anymore. Basically like built-in masking tape for while I mock up the kit. And what I wanna check first and what I've been so scared to do is if I'm gonna have to do a ton of work and redo the wheels. Let's see. So now we have the fender flare out of the way. So this is gonna go like, oh my God, boys. We might be golden. Oh, and this kit fits like money. All right, guys, I'm super hyped. It looks like it's gonna clear. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. You get out a little bit of camber, but. Oh, that's so dope. Okay, let me mock it up so I can show you guys better. In a sec, we're gonna grab Tristan to help us. Cause I hear an FRS pulling up. Is that a show cam? That is a show cam. Oh my goodness, she's naked. Sheesh. <laughs> Oh, and a sunny with a weird haircut. What the? <laughs> f look at your haircut. Yeah, what the? F what do you mean, bro? <laughs> Damn, Watch. Sunny looking like a businessman. Call Can him you, CEO, uh, Sunny. Car aired out here in the garage. This is basically how the kit's gonna sit when it's stanced out. And uh, problem numero uno is if we match it up with the body line and the headlight where it's supposed to go. Uh, that's that's a huge issue. I look like I'm s have sh fitment. Um, that's most likely be because. I'm sitting on the body of the car right now because with the fender flares, I could only trim so much before it would go past where the fender flares were mounted up. So now with this kit that goes all the way up here, goes all the way up to this body line, I'm essentially able to cut pretty much all the way up to here. So almost up into the headlight or taillight. So all the way up into here. So when I air out, the body of the car is able to drop lower and hopefully get this to where I had the fitment on the fender flares, which was sitting um, on the lip of the wheel. So I have about two inches to go until I'm sitting down there because I want it to be sitting like this. That's ideal fitment, but obviously like, <laughs> that's, an, that's a little bit of an issue. We can't run the kit like that. I mean, you code kind of hard, but <laughs> we can't do that. So that's one thing I'm concerned about, but I think when cutting the body of the car, it'll give it enough room and we'll add a little bit of camber it should sit low enough. Front goes like that, and then it goes like this. So yeah, again, I think we're pretty close. We're only about a half inch away from uh, touching the lip or sitting at the fitment where I want, and then this piece will come in like so. Obviously, it'll be a lot better when it's all put together, and I cut some stuff off of it. Cause it's got some weird, weird points on it. That's why this is such a long process and you can't just get a kit, slap it on and call it a day. It's gonna be, first off, we have to address like these ripples in the plastic from the molding process. And then there's all these little dimples all over the kit. You can barely see in the reflection. It probably won't come up on camera, but you can see like these lines, most likely from the molding process. So the first thing we'll end up doing is body work, the whole kit. So sand them down, primer, bondo, primer, sand, 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 get them smooth as butter so you can't see any of the manufacturing processes of the ABS, so they're perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll disassemble the entire car. We'll take out the entire interior and fit the kit, and then we'll worry about fitment. You kinda have to go through stuff in stages. And like, this piece is the only piece that looks like it's gonna fit really crazy, because like, Tristan pointed this out to me right here. Like, I don't know what they were thinking right there because that does not like match up at all. So this is probably gonna get cut like right here or something, cause I don't know. But I do really like if you show right here, it comes right down to my 
lip almost. So when I redo the bumper and fit this lip better, I can almost have these pieces touching, which will be a really cool seamless look when it's all said and done. Sheesh. <laughs> so now I'm gonna tape everything up there and uh, take some photos for the gram. Big moment. Hey, that actually worked. Pretty sick. Cool. That's pretty far off. That's pretty far off. It's like a whole two inches. Yeah. In the middle, does it lay frame? No. Do you think it has another two inches? Yeah. And my friend Harrison, Harrison Legal Fam, you did the matching camber. I'll put a picture on the screen right here. Matching camber golf R, super sick. You got the front dirt nasty low. He was like laying subframe in the rear. So he's building me custom rear control arms to set a smaller bag in there. So the airlift performance bags are made like Tristan knows this. I make the car torque because it gets super high up in the rear. Uh, so it's basically like a bag that's half the size and makes the car get way lower. So there's a lot of things I can do and I don't think I'll have to respect the wheels. But I mean, looking at it right now, I kind of want to respect the wheels because I kind of want it to be more aggressive. But if you look at it, it's like perfect fit. I don't even have to do anything. I just need to make the car go lower. If anybody is running this kit, you can copy my specs and you'll have perfect fitment as long as I can get the car to sit low enough. Otherwise, I just do these spec wheels in 19s and you're good. Then you won't have to do any modifications. Cool. It's looking mint. No, it's not. Well, I mean, compared to like long schlong over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of work to do, but it's gonna be cool. Yeah, and by the way, if you guys are wondering why these cinematics look so gas, hi, I'm Shokan Visuals. Hi, I'm Shokan Visuals. Subscribe <laughs> to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my Instagram channel. I have like 69 million followers and go buy my t-shirts. They say box on them and they're sick as f Link down in the description below. Thanks. <laughs> I do have an update on what I'm going to do in the rear. So I was talking to Harrison, what I guy I mentioned earlier in this video, he's already working on the manufacturing of the custom control arms. Um, those should be here sometime in January. And then I'm gonna do Plan Specialties SS5 rear bag and then cut the body super high and add camber. And hopefully we can, cause guys, this is like, this is a big deal. This is, this is really far up. This is like ride height and this is fully aired out. Like this is where I want to run the kit, like ride height. Uh, th there's no air in the back, so. That's, that's a huge issue we're gonna need to figure out. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to do it with the custom control arms, which will make it, the car sit lower, and those bags will make the car go way lower. You know, you can't build a wide body car overnight, you can't build a car overnight. So this is, you know, stage one, you get the kit, you mock it up, you see, you know, how much uh, hell you're gonna have to go through for the next couple months while you try to do crazy stuff to your car, but. You know, you guys will be around for the journey, and if you guys are planning on doing this to your Mark 6 as well, I'll make it super easy for you. You can just copy everything I do and make your car just, look just as sick. So, I'll go through all the heartache and figure everything out, and uh, you guys can watch me struggle. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, I'm super excited. I think the kit looks dope. 
the Jumdo kit. Again, this is a Jumdo official kit. I'll leave their Instagram down in the description below. A uh, huge shout out to Tristan. I know he plugged himself already for uh, helping me out film this, and he helps me film a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be dope. Uh, it's gonna be a big project. Uh, next video should be, well, next video on this kit should be getting it painted and uh, getting it ready to install. Um, and then we'll go from there. So, this is how it looks. Uh, just taped on there with blue masking tape, and I'm super excited. Uh, it's gonna be dope. And uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for today, guys. If you wanna see the journey of the Wide Body Mark VI, uh, subscribe down below, leave a like, comment what you think. That is gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>